guys, it's Ghosty, and today I'm here to talk about 10 of my favorite black characters in horror films. I was inspired to talk about this after recently watching the documentary Horror Noir, A History of Black Horror. It is a Shudder exclusive, and if you haven't heard of Shudder, it's this really, really great streaming site for only horror movies, super affordable, convenient, and it has great movies. I think that if you like horror movies, you should definitely get subscribed. So I watched this documentary, and prior to, I never really felt like I had a place in the horror community as a black woman. I always kind of felt like on the outside of it. This movie kind of like put things into perspective, like black people, love horror. We have a place in the horror community. I have 10 of my favorite fictional characters from horror films. Chris Washington from Get Out. Chris is the perfect protagonist because he's smart. He's skeptical. He really knew what he was doing. It was so relieving to watch a protagonist just completely kick ass. I have never loved a final act in any film, any horror film, the way that I love the final act of Get Out. He picked off that family one by one, so swiftly, so easily. That was absolutely amazing. And it kind of proves a point because they were just like, yeah, we're taking black people because they're better and smarter, faster and stronger. And he whooped all their asses. He survives, <laughs> he actually survives. I feel like some strides were definitely made in the black community when Get Out came out in 2017, um, courtesy to fucking Jordan Peele and all his amazingness. Eugene Dix from Final Destination 2. I really, really, really love Eugene. I wasn't as in love with him when I first got into it when I was young. So when I first watched it, I empathized with Kim because she's the fucking final girl. But as I got older and continued to rewatch it because it's one of my go-tos, Eugene. I love Eugene. He's really funny and honestly I think that he uses his humor to cover up the fact that he is scared. Two of my favorite like Eugene moments. In the beginning where they're all talking about like yeah you hear about flight 180 and he's just like oh that's just a bunch of hoo-ha and you know he just wants to say these white people are crazy. That's like his entire mood and I, I just love that and I didn't really realize that until I got older. My second favorite moment is when he finally lets the fear take over. He takes the gun and he's trying to kill himself. He can't and it's just like, oh my God. He completely sells that for me. I absolutely love it. Daniel Riggs and Saw 4. Officer Riggs is the protagonist that you hope is not gonna fuck up, but can't stop fucking up. I felt so sorry for him throughout the entire film. Him trying to save everybody, you know that that is his tech. From the moment when he saved the prostitute and she tried to kill him, basically gave the whole premise away. He's a cinnamon roll and he's sweet and he just wants to help everybody. I was really surprised to see him be the main protagonist in Saw 4. He does have a big heart. I think that's why I love him so much. Dimitri in First Purge. I went into First Purge thinking that I would only kind of like it. This one surprised me and honestly it um, was one of my favorites out of 2018 solely because of Dimitri. The main protagonist girl, don't remember her name, she cool, she cool, but Dimitri? When I first saw First Purge, I left the theater and said, how to make Deanna fall in love with a drug dealer? Although he has this life where he's basically like killing his community. Showing this side of him that like, yeah, I'd do that, but also I would do anything for this community. I was expecting his character to be so shallow, so one dimensional, that surprised me. And I think that's maybe what, that's why I got, I got so attached because I was not expecting him to be as uh, deep I support Dimitri in all ways. Brenda Meeks in all of the scary movies, more so Scary Movie 3, because that's my favorite of the series. Brenda Meeks is the girlfriend, the best friend, the real friend that you want. She's just so fun and she's so hilarious. Although her character is very, very tropey. I think it works because it, it, it kind of just like, wow, that's like absolutely ridiculous and not real. Um, but at the same time, her character is like so real. I see it the most in the third one. My all time favorite scary movie scene is, Sydney, this bitch is messing up my floor. I love her. <laughs> if you know me, you know, you already know how I feel about this character. Candyman, I do not like to say the name too many times because I'm still personally very, very paranoid, but I love him and Tony Todd. My love for Tony Todd is infinite. 
and his voice. I love this character so much. This villain that you kind of don't hate, he was killed because of racism. It's so sad. You want to be afraid of him, and you are. I'm definitely afraid of him. That's why I haven't said his name again. Do you also feel really bad? For him but you also like want to kiss him i would say that Candyman is very erotic candy man said it again that film is so beautiful and artistic tony todd's voice is just like oh yes okay i absolutely love it that's why i love it i want to talk about someone that's from a more recent horror film escape room and uh there's a character named zoe she gets the group through a lot. They probably would be nowhere without her. And I loved her because of her intelligence. In the end, is the one that rebelled. And the fact that for her, it wasn't just like, I need to get out of this for myself. It was like, I need to get out, save these people, and take down the fucking corporation of doing this just so they don't do it again. Seeing intelligent black characters on film, that's fucking cool. Intelligent black women on film, that's fucking cool. Rochelle and The Craft. I absolutely love The Craft, mostly because of my interest in witchcraft, also because it's just the ultimate 90s film. It hits all the 90s points for me. Rochelle is, is kick-ass. Everything about her character and how strong she is. I feel like in the 90s, everybody was so like, racism is dead. Racism died with MLK. She wasn't afraid to just be like, that bitch is racist. She fucking hexed the races. Life goals. Kick-ass black women of cinema. 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 Yeah. Akasha from Queen of the Dam. I've seen this movie a couple times, but I haven't seen it like since I've been a, an adult, so I don't have much memory, honestly. I remember when I first saw Queen of the Dam in the drive-in, I was eight years old. I remember seeing Aaliyah on camera and being absolutely captivated. One of the top like people on film in general that contribute to how I carry myself is fucking Akasha from fucking Queen of the Dam. That scene where she takes the heart and she just, I, mm, I love it. That bitch even died gracefully. Like how to be beautiful and powerful and terrifying on film, Aaliyah, Ben, and Night of the Living Dead. Night of the Living Dead in general is a very revolutionary film for America in the sense of politics, in the sense of horror. Bless George A. Romero. Ben is the fucking protagonist and he's a black man on film and he's just a black man and a hero on film. It's not like his character is about him being black. And George A. Romero would talk about Ben's character and say that I didn't write him black um, the actor just came in and he was the best for the part. And because George A. Romero isn't a fucking shithead, he casted him. And it worked. This movie came out in the 60s. A lot of turmoil happening in America. White people are like fearing black men, you know, at this time. And this black man is the hero. I definitely appreciate George A. Romero so much. Just the idea of like a black man can be cast and get a part that wasn't written for a black man. It was just like written and he got it because he was the best. Thanks guys for taking parts in this video. If you want to hear more rants about movies, film reviews, let me know because then I'll start doing that. Follow me on Twitter at Ghosty. <laughs> Thanks guys.